Hi, great to be with you. Um, we're going to start something a little bit different today. Um, <clears throat> I know we've done a whole series of different uh, topics that we've covered, taking pieces of the Bible and stories. We're going to look at a book um, for, a, for a while. We're going to, to start looking at Paul's letter to the church in Colossae, uh, the letter to the Colossians. Um, so we're going to take it probably in some slightly bigger chunks than normal, but hopefully still bite-sized enough for our, our little thought for the day things. So we're going to start with Colossians chapter 1, verse 3. There's a little bit of preamble before that, but we're going to start at verse 3. And uh, verses 3 to 5 say this. We always thank God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, when we pray for you, because we have heard of your faith in Christ Jesus and of the love you have for all God's people, the faith and love that spring from the hope stored up in you in heaven uh, about which you have already heard in the true message of the gospel that has come to you. See, so those three verses stirred something in me that I think is actually quite important, especially at this time that we're going through. It may made me ask myself, who am I thankful for and why? See, Paul said, I give thanks to God for you because he'd heard about the faith uh, and love that the church had uh, for other people around them. So I got to thinking, who am I thankful for and why? See, Paul could see that the gospel had had such a huge impact upon the people that their attitudes and their hearts had been changed. They'd found a motivation in knowing Jesus and the sacrifice that he'd given for them to look beyond their own day-to-day -day, uh, lives, their own world, and to see what was happening in the lives of others. And then they'd stepped into it. And that makes a difference because it changed the culture that they lived in. People cared for each other. The church cared for people and created a reputation that Paul had obviously got to hear about. So who am I thankful for? I actually started to make a mental list and quickly realised that there are a lot of people that I'm thankful for. People who've encouraged me, shared with me, helped me, comforted me, assisted me, taught me, journeyed with me, people who've corrected and disciplined me, people who've challenged me, people who've just cared about me, and loved me. Now I don't know what your list would be like. Perhaps you've got more people to be thankful for than I have. Perhaps a few less. But why not make a list today, as far as you can, and give thanks for those people and for the things that they've contributed to your life. Even if it's a short list, you'll be blessing someone. So let's pray. Father God, thank you for the people that you put across our paths, the people who care for us, the people who love and show compassion for us, who bless us and encourage us, who comfort us when life is hard. I pray that today they would know your blessing, Lord, that they would know your hand upon them. I pray, Lord, that you would uh, pour out your blessings upon each one today, that they might know that they are loved by you in an even deeper way. So come, Holy Spirit, I pray, in Jesus' name. Amen. Have a great day.